What is the rumor? Tim, our program director. That Tim, you know, Tim has put on a lot of weight since you got him on a diet and mm -hmm. you and successfully got him to lose a lot of weight. In fact, he was your prize student for a very short time. <laughs> and uh, you know, which was I now amazing. Now have the tools in order to take the weight I off. I was more interested right. in Tim's health. Right, but he took off a lot Cookies of weight. Cookies are my yes. weakness. And so, you know, he has put on a lot of weight recently. And so, uh, you know, we have this Cookie Wednesday or Cupcake Wednesday. Cupcake Wednesday. Yeah, yes. and I know it's a lot of. T it's a big temptation for everyone because they stick the cupcakes right oh, in the center of our hall. You can't get away from the smell. Yeah, it's it's there in the hall, and I, you know, I I I don't know. I I don't have a problem with it because well, you I don't, don't walk by it fifty times. Right. So evidently, one of the guys or a couple of guys. This is what I heard. Saw Tim walk. He he has a move. He walks by the cookies and the cupcakes, <laughs> and he palms one when he thinks no one's looking. He runs into the bathroom and eats it. Oh my God! Right, and he's What's embarrassed. Wrong with him? So I guess they were going to do the story on the news, and Tim put the kill on it. He killed the story. Yeah, yeah. That's not right. <laughs> I mean that. But he's evidently very embarrassed. Like, I, you know what? He's a he's guy. He's like a smoker who's fallen off. Yeah. And just, he won't smoke. He, he won't buy a pack. He's bumming. And he smokes in secret, whoa. hiding it from all the people he told he was quitting. Whoa. I want to liberate Tim. Tim, so you, everyone knows you got fat. We know you must be eating you something. You have to be eating. We can see right. it. Right. It's okay, dude. Eat your, it's so depressing to think that he's hiding in that little bathroom eating, eating his, his cupcake. Eating his cookie in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Where cookies is Cookies are my weakness. Uh, we know cookies are your weakness. <laughs> Where is he? I'm calling him now. Yeah, give him a call. Tell him to come down here. It's so sad. Like, the thought of him munching in the bathroom is just, it's like a and woman. And then killing the story. I mean, get a sense of humor about yeah. yourself. Maybe it'll be better. He doesn't have a sense of humor about himself. There was another news story that he killed that I heard that I thought was ridiculous that he killed it. What was that? I think Tim, you know how he, you got him drinking that green drink? Yeah. it's healthy for him? Uh-huh. It's juice. Yeah, and I guess, I, I don't know how it works, but, like, do you return the bottles or something? He was, there's a, a juice place called Organic Avenue, and they have these glass bottles. Yeah. And you're supposed to return the bottles because they're they're real expensive glass bottles. Well, I heard he returns the bottles full. Like what? He, he, am I right, Gary? Have you heard this? I have. Yeah. I have. I get reports on Tim. I knew something was up because I was in his office yesterday, mm -hmm. and he had the green drink there. So jokingly, I said to his assistant, Sarah, I was like, ooh, can I have some? And she turned around. She didn't know I was joking. She goes, oh, we have plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so when he returns the bottles, they're full. I guess the interns pick them up for him, but they've right. been returning them, and they're full. That's oh, the story my. I'm hearing. Well, why is he bothering getting He's them? Trying. He's That's trying. That's expensive trying. stuff not to be using. Where is Tim? He won't come He's in? He's not here. Oh, we're kidding. What's his story? He used to be he, in the crack of dawn. He used to he be usually able to get is. up before he stopped doing all the right things. He almost right. always is. He used to get up when he drank his green drink. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get do here. Do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. I know the do TV. Do what you got to do. The TV guys hit me on the intercom every time Tim comes in and they're doing like under over what, how much they think he's gained since he lost his lowest amount of weight. What do you think he's gained? They think it's at least 30 pounds. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. I'd say he, he's put back 30 But pounds. a couple of people were, 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 were thinking maybe 40. <laughs> no. I, I mean... Did, he had fat clothes when he started. Robin got him thin. He went to all these skinny. Like, he's one of those guys. He was still a little bit chubby, and he, his clothes were way too tight. <laughs> so then he started to get heavy, and I saw he didn't want, he had thrown out all his fat clothes because he was gonna. He was convinced he was going to stay thin. And I told him to hold on to those fat clothes for a couple of months. Can I tell you what our favorite Tim outfit was? When, yeah. he, when he lost the weight, he got these jeans, and then he got like this sort of almost like a Western shirt. He would wear that all the time. Right. And then he started to put back just a tiny bit of weight, hmm. and he had whatever the male equivalent is of camel toe. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, cock. A, like a big cod piece. Cock toe. Yeah. Big cock cock toe. <laughs> and everybody would go, like, Tim would have those, would have those jeans on, and you'd see cock toe. Yeah, because he was heavy, and his cock had no room in those jeans. <laughs> oh, Tim is downstairs. He's going to be up in five minutes. I'm surprised he killed the cupcake story. I, I understand being embarrassed about it because, it, you know, I guess he's supposed to be our leader and it does sound funny that he's in the bathroom. Yeah, but when everybody but we, I don't else care. is a target and those stories mm -hmm. would have been done, he can't kill them on himself. Can't kill a cupcake story. Right. That seems, it no. seems sort of, you know, low on the, uh, you know, on the yeah. chain of, of things that would yeah. piss you off. If he was fucking five different women, I right. get it, you know. But uh, cupcake story? Mm. You know, if he was cheating on his taxes, I get it. But the cupcake story, good Lord, can't kill that one. He tries, though. Like, have you, have you ever been in Tim's office? 
Uh, I don't go back there. So he's got a refrigerator, right? And it's full of the green drinks. You know, he bought weights. Like sometimes he tries to he tries to lift weights between you know he, it, he has weights in his office. Yeah, they're, it's really cool. It's, it's Is a, there a bed? They have a setting on them, right? Yeah. Like you turn a dial and it gets heavier or something. Yeah, like those. yeah. Okay. So it could be five pounds. You turn the dial. It's ten pounds. You turn the dial again. It's yeah. twenty pounds. What you got it turned on? I don't know. I don't know. I almost bought him off him. You think he could even do a push up? Yeah, yeah. Tim's Tim's okay. He, yeah. I mean, he's heavy, but he's not. Um, He's not completely out of shape. Right. I think he could do stuff. Right. Wow. 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 He, he sneaks into the... What does he do? He palms a cupcake and then he sneaks into the bathroom and eats it? That's what That's what people have said. Who I have does he a, think is not seeing? There are eyes everywhere here. So I mean, yeah. You can't hide anything around here. And by the way, don't try to walk by the TV room. There's 40 <laughs> sets of eyes. Right. So he palms it. He gets into the bathroom. And he's in there for a couple of seconds, and he eats the cupcake. Wolfing, wolfing down the cupcake. I'd like, I, is that even enjoyable? I'd like right. to know. Like, I'd love, I'd love to follow. I wish we didn't do this. Does I he flush? Well, I would have followed it to see, like, does he take the cupcake wrapper and put it right on top of the garbage? Or does he pick up paper towels and put it under? Like so hiding it, it yeah, so, under? Well, and does he flush to pretend like he just went to the bathroom? I don't know. Man. <laughs> Where is he when you need him? It's Good Lord. taking a long time to get up. Yeah. I don't think he wants to deal with us. Hey, by the way, I just got word. Tim is here, but he won't come in and discuss the cookies. Oh, I'll him. go get him. He's so fucking sensitive. Tell him it's going to be worse if he doesn't come in. Because everyone's going to be laughing at him. How did he know what we wanted to talk about? Who's ratting? Nah, he knows. <laughs> He's listening on that phone of his. Gary, make a trail of cupcakes to the studio door to <laughs> lure Tim in. That will get him. Yeah, he'll be tricked. Yeah, come on. We got to talk to him. Got to find out what's up. What, what's up with Tim? I don't know where he is. Oh, is he hiding? Is he I don't know. He's not in his office. He's not in the bathroom. He's not in the wow. TV room. He's not in the newsroom. I don't Put our news he... department on it. <laughs> Put I out need an him. APB. I want him here. He'll turn up. He'll turn up. You'll find him. You'll track him down. Does he really care that much about whether he eats a cupcake or not? Is he really that embarrassed? I, I wonder if anybody's actually seen him up here yet. Because people said he's here, but he won't come in. But I, I, I wonder, did he really come up? Did he make it up here yet? Where's our, new, where's our news guy? Uh oh, They're what's created up? created by man. We I mean, can I solve them be by Earlier man. when we were looking for him, I called his office directly. Mm -hmm. And his he extension, answered? And he answered. Oh, he did? Yeah. So he was in his office. No, the, guy, the guy at the front desk said he didn't come in yet. Oh. Uh, really? You know what? what? Probably what happened is a lot of guys here, they forward their extension uh, to their phone, oh, which is a good move because okay. it makes it seem like you're in. All right. There are so many projects and initiatives going on around these channels. <laughs> But now it'll be really uncomfortable because I'll take a break and Tim will come in and I go. I don't want to talk about the cupcake. <laughs> you know he's not going to let it go. And you know the longer the, the, the day goes on, you just, you just make no, it worse. It's so silly. It's not even a big deal. He, he went to a he went to a chain pet store for the shitty little rat. I know. You get it for a week and a half. You know how many times I've had this conversation? You know how many times I've had this conversation? You know how many times I've had this conversation? I mean, you're preaching to the choir, but inevitably, oh, that's great. You don't have veggie. It's not going to go away. I don't say this often, but that's brilliant. I got a really you know what. So nothing. I've got the fat gene, but I've got to work really like hard to stay thin. It's difficult. Yeah, you know. yeah, say something. It really is difficult. My kids are deep. No, I, but nobody's, but nobody's saying, nobody's questioning that. Whoever said it is a gene. Most people, you know, willpower to me is. I know, but everybody appreciates what you do. That has nothing to do with this. This is just. Willpower is something that's it is. It's the measure of you as a person. I can tell. It, what I'm saying is, you're, you're don't goofing on the fact that you have a cupcake has nothing to do with whether we get you work hard or not. Hey, uh, where is our newsman? What's our newsman's name? John. John. Hey, where's John? You should know that, Robin. Oh, it's Lisa G. I saw John out there. I saw him chasing somebody. I think it was Tim. Tim won't come in. <laughs> they found Tim. Tim, our program director, won't come in. Because he's Lisa embarrassed. Takes Can you believe Tim's embarrassed about eating some cupcakes? Get the fuck in here. This is, this is a, we need an intervention. I think we need to get some kind of a psychologist or a psychiatrist. No, we don't. Here. Just get him in here. No, we, he's traumatized, apparently, and, <laughs> and needs to deal with this issue. We better get over it. Well, Lisa, hi. It's hard when you... What's hard? What? He's, he's fucking grabbing a cookie and goes into the bathroom and eats it? He can't talk about that? Well... That's like, that's so nothing. 
Well, I met the guy that discovered the fat gene, and he said either you have it or you don't. Right. Well, that's not the issue. It's whether Tim can eat as a cupcake in public. I don't <laughs> want him eating in the bathroom. I want him, I want him to eat out in the open. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And they said if you have the fat gene, you're hungry every single day, every single second of the day. Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody has the fat gene. We're all hungry. Fuck that. That's all horse shit. Well, again, you're talking out of school. She met a scientist. Yeah, I'm the same scientist. <laughs> you gene. don't have the fat gene. Yeah, oh, I'd have it. Trust me. I got to really, you know what? I've got the fat gene, but I've got to work really hard to stay thin. It's difficult. You know, it really is difficult to stay thin. They are even now saying that willpower is actually a muscle you have to exercise. Right. Most people, you know, willpower to me is learned. It's this idea that it's genetic is ridiculous. Willpower is something that's it's the measure of you as a person. It's actually an expenditure of energy. You have to really build it up. I want Tim to come in here and eat a cupcake on camera. No, I don't know what he's so... We love him. Why is he... I'm on the phone with him. So What's he saying? He's just, he's very upset. Give me a minute. Give me he's a minute. Upset? This is what I'm saying. We need a, like a doctor here to talk <laughs> no. to him. He's, he's the funniest. got uh, problems. <laughs> tell, tell him it's only going to get more awkward if he doesn't come in here. Gary. Tell, tell Tim it's going to get more awkward if he doesn't uh, come exactly in here. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's getting weird. How it's, the, the, I'm leaving this open. Tim, how would say it's just going to get more <laughs> awkward. I'm, I'm, I'm saying to Tim that the longer it goes, the worse it gets, and it's just so nothing. And Tim's like, hey, I'm under a lot of stress. I work hard. This is unfair. We know he works Nobody's hard. equating. We all think you do a great job. Right. Tell him, tell him it's going to. we're not gonna, your enemies. We love you. Tell him he's making me uncomfortable now. It's his job. He's a, it, Tim, you got to come in now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to get this awkwardness out of it. He said, I'm doing stuff. I'll be in it in a little while. But mm -hmm. he said, I don't, I, like, listen, I've been in this business. He's like, listen, I, I don't want to be Howard's punching bag. And I'm no, like, I'm just going to try and help him. I'm going to say. we have the same issue. Remember when Fred was trying to quit smoking, and mm -hmm. then he was smoking in secret, and then we discover go. it? Yeah, ask Fred how helpful you were. We were. <laughs> Is he smoking now? No. But you had nothing to do with it. I quit on my own. Right. <laughs> See? Oh, this is silly. Yeah, he doesn't... I heard, I, he's really, like, genuinely upset. I feel bad for him. I'm, like... t I'm telling you, I hear that this is a problem for him. Well, now it's becoming my problem oh. because yeah. now I'm uncomfortable. Now both of you need counseling. Tell him to get you in need here, or I'm going to couples counseling, or I'm going to revoke his bathroom privileges. <laughs> They're created by man. We can solve them by man. Actually, it's dining room privileges. <laughs> All right. And you, oh, good. All right. What's the well, matter with you? Um, Why are you so upset? Because I, I, I don't want to be a punching bag. So what? I gained a, a few, you, you know, I gained a couple of pounds. Big fucking You're deal. You're not a punching I'll bag. I'll lose it, right, Robin? Well, if people can, yes. Exactly. No, I'm trying to understand something. All, All right. right. You gained some weight back. In fact, you gained a lot of weight back. 25 pounds. Okay. So, listen to me. You don't have to hide in the bathroom when you eat your cupcake. I don't hide. That's bullshit. Somebody said you palmed. Just tell me if this is true. You palmed it's not the cupcake. True. No. And you I'll walk it. by and I'll grab a cookie every once in a while, whatever. Right. So this You're not is, palming it and hiding. No, fuck you no. You swear on the Lord Jesus Christ. I swear in my you, kid's eyes. That you never walked into the bathroom and eaten your cupcake. No. Okay. Never, I, I don't eat cupcakes. I eat cookies. The cookie. Exactly. Cookies so, are my way. So wife. where did this story come from? Did you kill a story because about it? Because everybody eating? embellishes everything around here. Oh. So what? So come in and clear it up. So it's Was just, it so it's, difficult? No, it's it's just bullshit. But what about this th accusation that your green drink, you've been returning the bottles full with all your That's green true. drink? That's true. That is true. That oh. is true. All right. Why buy them? They're expensive. I right. know it. And I've been trying to drink them. And you're not a punching bag. I mean, you do look like a heavyweight bag. You know, one of those heavy like bags. A heavy bag. <laughs> no, listen to me. Taylor, come here. Come here for a second. Gave you the no, finger. I want to say something. <laughs> All right. So you, you, you're yo yo, you're yo yoing with your your right. your weight. So big deal. You're a dude. Yeah, but I'd like to be thin. I like to be in shape. Yo 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 yo. yo. Well, you'll get there. All right. Thanks. All right. I mean, well, well, what's the matter with you? I just want to clear up that you don't have to hide in the bathroom I, and eat cookies. I don't. Okay, that I cleared don't. it up. I hope that's not true. Stop being a pussy and hiding out oh. there. Come I'm in here. I'm doing my detox thing. Hey, did you see the cake? Where's that from? Nah. Tim, get the fuck out of here. Come on, Tim. Talk to me for a second.
Tim, do you think you're making it worse by no, I avoiding just, Howard? I'm, I'm not dealing with it. It's bullshit. I don't sit and fucking hide in the bathroom. He's angry. It's a fired up program director. Yeah, right he's angry. He's hungry. <laughs> I guess when Richard was growing up on the farm, uh, he used to. You remember when I like I when I first got into those um, porn telephone numbers. Remember years ago in the like in the eighties, you could call a phone number and have a girl talk to you. Right. But it was a recording. Yeah. And then you'd beat off to it. Yeah. So that was like sort of a cool thing, and Richard. I guess when he was growing up in Kansas, he used to buy these tapes to jerk off to, but they weren't videotapes. They were audio tapes. <laughs> so I said, let me hear them. So I'm listening to these audio tapes that Richard used to jerk off to, but except it's all guys. I mean, yeah, it's a guy and a woman, but all you hear is the guy. Like, at least when I used to call those phone numbers, it was a girl talking to me. Right. And I'd jerk off to the girl's voice, and she'd be, oh, my God, I'm rubbing my tits. I'm doing this. I'm like, oh, okay. Good for you. Oh, you wouldn't believe what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to suck you off. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, my God. You're kidding. Your jerk-off tapes are weird, dude. You got, i got to play these right now. Like, where, where did you buy these? Uh, at like a porno store in Oklahoma. Yeah, I tell you, man, they're, they're kind of weird. All right, this is called John Shaft Man. <laughs> and this is what Richard used to jerk off to when he was in high school. Suck it, Mama, dude. Right there, right? don't miss a lick, Mama. Uh, sweet. Good guys. Who are you the best? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, Mama. Go ahead. Ooh, mean, mean. Wow. Take the sweat off my balls, Mama. Ooh, good guys. You the best. Number one, Mama. Number one. Uh, that was good, Mama, dude. Real good. At what point do you finish? I mean, that guy is just fucking comical. I try to time it to finish when he did. Yeah, but it's a dude talking to you. How do you beat off to a dude? Well, because you want to imagine you're that guy. Oh, and, yeah. what, you imagine you're like a 60-year-old black man? Oh, well, a black man? That's, sure that is. And almost Richard. No, the, that's a black guy. The best part is when I bought the cassette, it had like Peter North, like a white guy yeah. and some other beautiful but blonde that's a black white guy, girl. right? Yeah, like they is trick it? you. Yeah. 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 Well, well, come on, Mama Do. <laughs> who's this Mama Do? Where is that from? <laughs> well, you listen to this. Shit, baby, I'm ready to do some shafting. They don't call me Shaft, man for nothing, you know. Oh, Shaft. Sounds like Herman Those Cain. Are two black people. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, feel ya. Man. Who have you been Ooh. giving this good pussy to? Ooh. You good pussy oh. bitch. Oh. Talk your shit, baby. Oh. Oh. Make this pussy Ooh. good. Shaft, man. Get on top of this good. joystick and do your thing. Ooh. That's I it. All Get this the way dick. In. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't beat off to this. It's like, this is the last thing on earth to beat off to. This is his, Baby, we can't find anything else. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I, I get a girdle ad from the New York Times. Love that time. I was always afraid my parents were going to ask me why I was going to the bathroom with my Walkman all the time. <laughs> Did you wear headphones? Yeah. Oh, Come on, goodness. you good pussy bitch. <laughs> well, there's... I only took the best parts. Um, th it's a whole story to it. Like, Mama Do is this old woman that he knows. That, How do you and, beat off to that? You are weird. I, there was nothing. That, my dad never had dirty magazines. He had hunting magazines. Right. There were a few swimsuits. Can't beat off pictures. to those? Well, I found a, a, an ad for, like, inner tubes where a woman was in a bathing suit. Come here, time. you good pussy bitch. <laughs> Shit, baby, I'm ready to do some shafting. They don't call me Shaft, man for nothing, you know. <laughs> oh, Shaft, man. Who have you been Ooh. giving this good pussy to? You good pussy oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> good pussy bitch. Who are you giving this good pussy to? <laughs> you good pussy bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Wow. Oh, my God. When you finally have sex with a real woman, are you completely warped out? Do you ever call her, like, a good pussy good bitch? And put on hey, that accent. Thing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why are you talking like a black guy, Richard? <laughs> Who have you been giving this pussy to? Jump on my joystick. <laughs> Richard, today we took a little stroke down memory lane. A pump down memory lane. Yeah, a little, a little pull down there. <laughs> a, a stroll down masturbatory lane. <laughs> yeah. 
You're so different from those days, aren't you? I mean, you, t you were so sexually charged back then, mostly because, as you've admitted, you weren't getting any. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I was a virgin until I was 19, and then I got laid a couple times and went on a 10-year dry spell. So <laughs> you tend to become horny and, and take matters into your own hands when those kind of things happen. Quite literally into your Literally, own yeah. And, you know, the thing was, when I was a kid, it was before you could, where I was in Kansas, it was before you could get porno movies on VHS, and there was no internet. Uh, it was harder to find porn. So I remember one time, it was like, I think it was a trip to see a monster truck show with my buddy from school, and his parents drove us, and we snuck off and went to this porno store, and, and I bought this here cassette, John Shaft Man. Because I knew, you know, I didn't have my own VCR, but I knew I had a Walkman so I could listen to to dirty stuff and jerk off to it, pump off, and, and use my imagination. And uh, and now when I listen back to it, it's more funny than, than to, to get me horny. But I, I found this in storage recently, and I was like, oh, that brings back some awesome memories. And, uh, you know, there's probably still a few stains on here from when I was a wee little sophomore in high school. And you do what you do when you're a young kid. You... you it's kids nowadays are so fucking spoiled with the internet and and you know you can get porn so easy now but back in the old days there was really an art to it you know when i was in kansas we'd have to we'd go to the rock quarries because for some reason at rock quarries when i was growing up the guys that drive the front load front end loaders and the dump trucks they always had porn under their seat of their of their machines and we'd go and steal their their porno their fuck books and I remember we'd steal like stag magazine and plumpers and shit like that and uh, we'd also I don't know how but I remember one time we found a huge trash bag full of dirty magazines at a creek under a bridge I think somebody had hid it there because they wanted to come back and get it maybe their wife found it or something but me and my buddy Clint from this is when we were in grade school we we would go out on once we found this porn under a bridge at a creek we searched every bridge in our county because we thought oh everybody throws porn under bridges and it was just it was a fun thing to do when you're a kid to look for porno and even i searched every single centimeter of my parents six acre farm for my dad's stash of dirty magazines and I swear my dad has never owned a dirty magazine because I couldn't find him anywhere. So all I found was uh, his stack of fur fishing game hunting magazines and a, and a freaking woman in a bathing suit. That and there was a Bass Pro Shops catalog with a woman advertising uh, like this fishing boat and she was in a bathing suit and I pumped off to that one as a kid. So I, I have a lot of great memories. Kids, I think nowadays they're very spoiled and they are not going to grow up with the same memories of of hunting ev all over the countryside for porn and dirty magazines and listening to porn cassettes and jerking off while you're listening on your Walkman in the bathroom. And It's really uh, it's nostalgic and I, I could talk about this all day. Maybe eventually I'll even do a radio show about like you know guys my age and older how they got a hold of porn when they were young because it's really it's a cool thing